Fox 45 News has been investigating gaps in GPS monitoring for juvenile offenders for months now. At least two juvenile suspects in the Brooklyn Day mass shooting, a 14-year-old and 18-year-old Tristan Jackson, were reportedly wearing ankle monitors and under DJS supervision. Under a new DJS policy, young people accused of a violent felony but not detained will be monitored electronically. So if they're accused of committing another violent felony while wearing the ankle monitor, they'll be detained. But some worry that's not enough. They can go out, they can do whatever they want, behave any kind of way, and maybe they'll get a stern talking to for 10 or 15 minutes. That's not going to teach them anything. In Baltimore City, surveillance video has captured several recent violent incidents leading to some community concern surrounding safety and juvenile accountability. The examples are endless and so is the frustration. Crimes of violence caught on camera often at the hands of juveniles. We are now living in a society where the lives of others are not particularly valued and you combine that with young people who believe that only they matter. Just last month, video caught the moment two teenagers assaulted and robbed a 66-year-old man near Patterson Park. The suspects kick him to the ground and leave him in the middle of the street. Actually, I didn't hear anything. Um, they were very, very quiet, uh, almost like they snuck up on me but I could feel their presence. It's similar to this case, also caught on surveillance camera, a Baltimore woman assaulted and robbed by two juveniles, the youngest, just 12 years old. He tackled me and then um, punched me in the head and I got kicked. I was afraid I was gonna get shot because you just don't know. You know, and this video surveillance obtained by Fox 45 shows three juveniles younger than 10 attempting to steal a vehicle in Northeast Baltimore. I would like to speak to a parent. Like, where are you, where, where's your guardian? As someone who was a police officer for 29 years. Betsy Smith with the National Police Association says criminals don't care anymore if they're caught on camera because there's simply no accountability. This is really an unfortunate trend that has continued into 2024. Um, and I think we need to understand that as a society, what we are seeing is the result of not punishing, not prosecuting criminals to the fullest extent of the law. Smith says even criminals once had a code of conduct, mothers, children, the elderly off limits, but not anymore. They don't care uh, that it's wrong to harass a young mother with a baby in a stroller. Lydia Green says she was out for a walk with her 11 month old daughter when juveniles took aim at her baby. They were threatening, harassing her and said, um, you know, you're lucky we don't snap your baby's neck and, and a bunch of other things. She ran inside a restaurant hoping to get help, but the young people followed her. And this doorbell video captured a driver and passenger hanging out their window Wednesday, shooting at a car behind them. Seconds later, the passenger is seen getting out and firing more shots. These uh, many brazen crimes that you are seeing in the greater Baltimore area, as well as throughout the United States, is because we are no longer punishing aberrant behavior in the manner that our criminal justice system allows. And so criminals just don't really care. Especially when it comes to young people. Juvenile offenders know that they are going to be treated differently.